guys, it's Runa Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 39 on SO exam P. So I'll pause the video real quick and try to problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attended it, let's just dive right in. So basically, this question is asking calculate the probability that there are less than three hurricanes in a 20 year period. And we know we are given these informations right here. We know that there can at most be one hurricane per year, aka, like you can't have two or three or four in one calendar year. In any calendar year, the probability of a hurricane is 0.05. And the number of hurricanes in different calendars are mutually independent. So this is a very big little key that this is going to be a Bernoulli bino binomial distribution because you know that these are mutually independent. And you can, and it is black or white, aka, like you can only have one hurricane or no hurricane. There's no other choices. Those for, for the Bernoulli's assumptions, so we can assume that this is a Bernoulli's. And also then we know that there can't really be 2.5 hurricanes. You either have one hurricane or two hurricanes. So this is this discrete function. So probability that x is less than 3 is the same thing as saying the probability that x is equal to 0 plus the probability that x is equal to 1 plus the probability that x is equal to 2. But it does not include 3 because we're looking at anything less than the number. So probability that x is equal to 0. By Bernoulli's, we know that this is equal to n choose r, where n is our number of trials, and r is our what we're looking for, times probability to the r, times q, which is the failure, n minus r. So if the fa um, success, in our case, is defined as hurricanes, our success is going to be 0 0.05, and q would just be 1 minus 0 0.05, which is 0 0.95. So again, probability that x is equal to 0, this is going to be equal to, out of 20 years, you're going to have 0 hurricanes, that is with a probability of 0.05 to the 0, and 0.95 to the 20th, right? But we know these are just 1, 1, and the probability that x is equal to 1, same thing, 20 choose 1, 0 0.05 to the first power, and 0.95 to the 19, 20 choose 1 is 20, 20, yeah, and probability that x is equal to 2 is um, 20 choose 2, 0 0.05 to the second, 0 0.95 to the 18th, we know this is 190, so I'm just going to multiply all these out and add it all up in my calculator, so when you add all these up, then you get 0.9245, which is approximately equal to 0.92, our answer E. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!